Hi, I'm Rick Gerard, and this is another Clean Up Your Act quick tip. I have created an expression that moves a layer from the left side of the screen to the hero position, and then the layer falls off the screen. It does not make any difference where the layer is. It always slides in from the left, bounces to a stop, and then falls off the screen. I have all these sliders added to the layer to adjust the timing and animation, so I'm going to do a little tweaking. When I have everything the way I want it to be, it is time to save this as an animation preset. The first thing you need to do is select the layer and press the U key twice to reveal all modified properties. I have effects controls added to the layer. They have all been renamed. If you select these in the timeline, when you save the animation preset, it will not remember the names you have changed, so you will end up with errors. The proper workflow would be to just select the effects and then the position property and save these layer properties as an animation preset. I'm going to center the layer to give me a good starting point and then go to the animation menu and select save animation preset. When you save an animation preset, it should end up in the After Effects user presets folder. On a Mac, that is Documents, Adobe, After Effects, your particular version, User Presets, User Preset Library. You can create as many folders as you need in this library, and you can even do what I've done and use an alias to point to Dropbox so that all of the animation presets are available to every machine that is linked to Dropbox. I'm going to replace the Fly In, Bounce, Drop Out preset that I already created. The next step is to import a bunch of other layers. I'm just going to use some solids, then arrange them. And then I'm going to set the in and out points and select all of the layers and apply my animation preset to all of these layers at the same time. That's basically it. I use this preset a lot because it's easy and it doesn't care how you scale them or where the layers are or where you put them or anything else. This is a great time saver. I suggest that you build your own collection. It will save you a lot of time. Until next time, this is Rick Gerard. Just trying to help you clean up your acting.